Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're painting the house. Let's get into the video. So today is day 31 of the home build. So that means 29 more days to go to finish in 60 days. And this is really the midway point of the construction because we have the shell of the house built. We have it framed. We have the foundation done, of course, the frame done, the siding done the roof deck done, the windows and doors installed. So it's midway point and today has just kind of been a regrouping day. Not one that I really accounted for on the schedule. It's kind of sucks in terms of making progress towards a completed build, but nevertheless, it was something that had to be done. Today, we didn't get really any of it on film, but we got all the extra trash out of the house and loaded this 40 yard dumpster bin. <laughs> Hot mother freaker. And that's how much wood we waste. There's so much wood right here. All that's wrong with that wood is it has nails. Uh, nails in it from the guys either using it for like a, a scaffolding or something like that This is what the build looks like now. We got it kind of pretty much cleaned up We got all the extra pieces of wood out of that inside all the trash picked up One thing we did is we organized somewhat organized these pallets the first one on the left is for um, That's a return for one supplier. This middle pallet is a return for another supplier that pallet is a return for another supplier on the last build i did not make any returns like this so i probably threw away a thousand dollars worth of stuff i would assume this amounts to like a thousand bucks and to be honest i don't know if they'll even take any of these returns considering it's in good shape it's just dirty i think this is a lvl product it's like a man-made wood product and i think those are special order and i don't know why they supplied them we didn't use them but anyways we got the site cleaned up pretty good for the most part got this trash most of the trash picked up so anyways, yeah, that's kind of an update for day 31. This video, we're gonna be painting the exterior of the house. Tomorrow, we're gonna be painting. Uh, here in a second, I'm gonna go pick out the exterior paint colors at probably Sherwin-Williams, because that's where my painter buys his paint. I'm gonna go pick out the exterior paint color, and then I'm gonna come back, put it on the wall. We're choosing three, maybe four exterior paint colors for this house, and we gotta make sure you know they're, they're what we like. One big mistake I made on my last build, which is that house right there, is that I went and I bought a sample. I actually bought a sample of the paint. I, I chose the paint color I want. I came back and I painted a little section of this house, two or three square, square foot, and they painted the whole exterior, all four wall, three walls, the back and the right and left, because the front has brick. They painted those three walls, and I ended up having to repaint the whole house on the exterior because I did not like that paint color. So that mistake alone on my last build cost me 900 bucks. So we're gonna try to avoid having to redo that. We're gonna try to avoid having uh, that mistake again by getting actual paint samples like I did last time, but this time I'm gonna really paint it on the wall, a good section and look at it in the light, look at it in the shade and make sure it's the section I want, the, the kind of paint color I want. So let's go choose paint color. All right, y'all, I just started my personal brand. It's called Audacity and this is my first shirt, heavyweight, comfortable, high quality premium shirt. But the brand Audacity is basically just for young men who are willing to take the bold risk in life to go from the bottom of the top to the top and achieve their goals and their dreams. And that's what I'm doing. I'm taking bold risk one after another to go from the bottom to the top. So this is my first shirt. I got a hundred of them. This is the original Audacity T. So help me sell this out. Click the link down in the description and represent. All right, we just pulled up at Sherwin-Williams and we're gonna choose four paint colors for the exterior of the house. All right. So I think I just need to look at these colors and compare it to the rendering. I already know what black I want to do. It's going to be tricorn black. See that, baby? Tricorn black. Boom. Got that one. It's going to be for the soffit and for the fascia. Next is white. Oh my God. What the hell? This is going to be impossible. Anyways, let's save that for last. I like this iron ore. Say we're going to use this one for this section of the lower section. I think that's gonna be our dark gray. Now we need a light gray, a darker gray right here. And then there's like a lighter gray here. And then there's like kind of like an off white right here. We haven't even really narrowed it down. We're just trying to get ones that look close. What are your what are your thoughts? Have you seen these colors? What are you? Are you looking for more of a warm or cool tone? I mean, <laughs> looking at it, whatever, whatever you get from this photo, you know, like I'm just stuck on these two. I mean, I want an uh, accurate representation or reflection of what's right, right there, you know. Okay, so we've made somewhat of a decision. We got the black I'm confident in. Next is iron ore. This is going to be dark gray. It's going to go around the garage door, around the front door, this little section here. Next, we have 
two colors that we think we're gonna like the best. And we got these two colors for a medium gray here and a white there. And, and to try to keep from making the same mistake that I made on the last build, where we just purchased the sample, went and put it on the wall and said, oh, it's good. And I had to repaint the house. We got, we're forcing ourselves to get an extra gray and an extra white for the, of course, that extra gray and that extra white. I'm gonna get fi these five samples. I don't really need the black and the dark gray, but I'm gonna do it anyways, just so I can really compare and not make any mistakes. Um, these five samples are gonna cost 50 bucks because they're $10 a piece. It's a rip off, but um, you know, I guess it could save me a thousand bucks in the end. So let's go get the samples and go put it on the wall and make sure they're the one. All right, you too. Thank you, David. You have a good weekend, sir. <laughs> Imagine my signature popped up in front of his face. <laughs> I really don't know why I bought 10 brushes. That may have been a waste. Six, sorry. One for every color. That probably was a waste of money. So, we kind of decided. Oh! Fuck. I'm just going to put like six squares on the wall, each color, and we're just going to make a decision. There's no like real way. Obviously, I can't paint every, you know, this whole wall, that whole wall, all of it with each color because that, uh, that wouldn't work. So I'm just going to put up like uh, six test squares, test samples, and then make a decision. Dude, I'm the worst with paint. I guarantee I'm going to get this shit all over me. Oh my God. I can't even get this paintbrush in there. Why would he tell me to get this one? Oh my God. Dude, I told you. Oh. We got the real boss right here about to tell us what to do. First impression. Oh. Right there. What do you say? What do you think? I like the black and dark gray. You? Yeah, those are the those are the two that we've selected. Like guaranteed. I like yeah, the black, I like the dark gray. The bottom left? The bottom left too. Yeah. Okay. That was my favorite. Okay. Okay. Ooh. All right, so that's day. So what do you think? Yeah, what you think, baby? You're right. Okay, she agrees. Tomorrow, Saturday, we're gonna be painting the whole house. The exterior paint will take one day. Catch you in the morning. 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 Problem? What about the sides of the windows? That's good? Yeah, that's no good. problem? Yeah, okay. no problem, yeah. Okay. See. Okay. And then let's get, I'll show you. Let me get yeah. the brushes okay. and then we can put a sample that way. So the first step to getting the house painted is doing all the prep work. As you can see, painters are up there starting to do the prep. And that consists of using a painter's putty to fill all the nail holes in the siding. And then secondly, they will be using a caulk, uh, a sealant to caulk all of the corners and all of the seams in the siding so that's prep work the start of the prep work also one thing they're going to be doing is using a painter's uh painter's tape and plastic to tape off all of the windows to keep those protected and make sure they don't get any paint on them on the windows and also the doors one thing i wanted to talk about is that i'm using this big stretch sealant for the sealant choice on this house instead of the cheaper sherwin williams 1050 QD or whatever. This tube of caulking cost about $2 each, and this tube of caulking cost about $10 each. So for a box of 12, they come in a box of 12, you can get a box of this for $24, and a box of this cost about $120. So this caulking, we're gonna be using on the interior and exterior of the home. You can see windows, doors, siding, um, and it is also, uh, you can also use it on the interior of your house. So this is a product that I'm paying obviously a lot more for, I don't know, five to seven or 10 times more for this expensive sealant. And I'm doing it because it is gonna uh, go through some extreme movement here in Texas with expansion and contraction whenever it gets hot and cold in this uh, area of the world. And that is gonna put a lot of pressure on the sealant and the cheaper stuff that you get for $2 a tube is going to crack and it's going to fail and it's gonna make the paint job look ugly in just a couple years. We're gonna be able to see, is this product really as good as it, as good as markets? Here's a video of how good, how much it stretches. On this first house, I decided to use kinda, well, not necessarily that I decided, 
to, but the painter supplied the sealant and he supplied the, uh, of course, the cheaper sealant. And we'll see how, how good does the cheap sealant on that house perform in comparison to the more expensive big stretch $10 a tube sealant perform at this house. Maybe in a couple years we'll come back, check it out, you know, do a case study. Does that, how does that sealant look in comparison to this one? So anyways, the painters are knocking out the prep work now and then we will be on the painting. Sunday morning update day two of painting and looks like the guys maybe been here an hour or two here's the uh the progress still front of the house looks the same one thing I can really tell they did is you see this that is called the freeze board that is black up there so you see that black piece up there right now it definitely looks kind of out of whack and it looks out of whack because the fascia and the soffit is not painted as well so right here you see how that freeze board is black well once this soffit and the fascia gets painted black it'll all look finished so right now it kind of looks kind of wonky once the fascia and the soffit gets painted it'll definitely look about a lot better so you'll be able to tell once we wrap it up you'll be able to tell what i'm talking about so they got this whole side painted and that black freeze board up there painted Let's walk around the other side and see if they've painted anything over there. Finished today, Serrano, or Monday? Yeah, get it up late. Okay. And here's this side. No paint over here. So there's an update. Morning of day two. They'll get it wrapped up today. So we'll check back in whenever they got it finished. Okay, 7.45 day number 33 of the build is finished and voila the house is painted so uh the, it took two days for the painters to paint the house the first day they did most of the prep work painted the front of the house as we showed and then as you can see now everything is finished so two full days we'll call it it was a saturday and a sunday the paint went good two days of work i paid the painter three thousand i paid the painter three thousand one hundred and thirty two dollars for the exterior paint basically i paid him fifty percent for the exterior and then when he comes back and paints the interior i'll pay him fifty percent for that as well so three thousand one hundred and thirty two dollars was the exterior paint cost and that included material and labor for which my subcontractor provided okay so day number 33 is in the books the next video will either be on could be on a number of things. It would probably be on either the metal roof or a really big problem that we just had come up on the build with the plumbing. So um, either way, one of those videos will be right here. So make sure to click that. Subscribe down below so you don't miss on the future videos. And thanks for watching.